back. You know, sometimes in life, folks really reach down deep and overcome challenges just because they think they can. Suzanne Lawler introduces you to a woman with that kind of spirit. Susan England was an avid tennis player about 30 years ago. She loved the sport, but life happened. She got married. She stopped playing. She recently picked it back up again. And in some ways, tennis now is more gratifying. I'd, I'd be here every day if I could. <laughs> she uh, took her first uh, tennis lesson here at John Drew Smith with me back in May. Amy Pazahanek jumped right into that lesson with Susan Anglin, but she had some reservations that quickly disappeared. I didn't, personally didn't know what to expect, but I was very open to it. My right eye is, not, is a prosthesis, so nothing in that eye. In my left eye, um, I have glaucoma, which has taken about 25% of my peripheral vision, but it's also very, very nearsighted. She is legally blind, so the court looks something like this. So we just started with like simple and uh, hand-eye coordination type things. And the victories came early. And when I hit that backhand in front of Amy, I almost cried. I squealed. I think I hurt her ears and I jumped up and down. In the span of a couple of months, Susan says the confidence on the court has rolled into her everyday life. And now she's ready for bigger challenges. To maybe play in a league and maybe some round robin tournaments in my future. Amy says with the way Susan is playing, that is well within her reach. And you may wonder if she tells people she's blind when she steps on the court. Well, she does, not for pity, but maybe to lift someone else up and do for them what tennis has done for her. What I want to accomplish with this journey is inspiring other people to not put limits on yourself when life gives you obstacles. A message that deserves a lot of love. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Susan says everyone in her tennis class has accepted her and she's made a lot of new friends.